How you doing everyone? The Amateur Sage here. Today's video is none other than an unboxing video. Also an unboxing, I guess I'll, I want to do a separate video because maybe it'll invoke something, but uh, we got a, we're retiring, we're retiring tarot cards today. We're retiring tarot cards today. Today's video is a live unboxing, all right? And what we're going to be unboxing is nothing other than boom, the Eternal Tarot deck, AKA the Egyptian Tarot deck. And we say it's Egyptian Tarot deck because of all the symbology, but we're gonna break it open. We're gonna bust it open. But at the same time, we must retire an amazing Chinese Tarot deck. Listen, this deck is guys, it's a top deck period. Um, it's my Mew, my Mewtwo. You have to be a Pokemon person. It's my Sailor Moon. Did that did that move anything? It's my it's the Beyonce. Let's just call it what it is, guys. You put up another deck, but this is the Beyonce of the tarot world. Oh yeah, you're gonna get a separate you're gonna get a separate thing, Beyonce. I got you. Or we call you uh we call her Bay or, or B or Chinese tarot deck for short. But uh but yeah, we're retiring you. So mm, one little you know I I I idolic tro I I guess an idolatry kiss. <laughs> and then we're gonna, boom, get to the unboxing. But before we do that, let's just say a quick little prayer because uh, it doesn't know where you guys are. It doesn't know where you guys are. All right. We are in each other. We are in our ancestors. We are in all beings in the universe looking to protect us. All beings in the universe looking to protect us, connect to us right now. Ancestors, connect to us right now. Almighty, connect to us right now. I shade to the Great Mother. I shade to the Great Father. I shade to the Great Lover in us. I shade to the Great Healer in us. I shade to the Great Money Maker in us. I shade to the Great Protector in us, and I shade to the Great Sage in us. I shade, I shade, I shade. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you. All right, everyone. May we have an almighty rising in all that, that we do, and may our creator always go before us. Wait, hold on, guys. Lighting problem. Hold on. It's live recorded. It's live recorded. This is how it works. Guys, this is what, what happens when you record it. It's being recorded live in front of a live Sage audience. Okay, that being said. Shout out to everyone that's watching. <laughs> if you're here, shout out to the live notification gang. Now let's get to the unboxing. Oh. Of the, we'll look at the front. The internal tarot, get the answers from the divinity within you, including 78 cards in a book. Ooh la la. And on the front, we have the 78th card, which is represented as the word Renaissance. All right. And, uh, you know, what I loved about this card, I really wanted to get something Egyptian. Like, I'm not going to lie. I wanted something that was connected to the Egyptian scientific ancestral line or whatever. So, boom. My first card deck was the one that you saw, Chinese Tarot. I really enjoyed that level of, uh, what I enjoyed actually is also in the front as well. Like I enjoy the color, you know, what I always look for is color, symbology. Um, I do look for people. I look for, you know, what seems like multiple levels. You know, I look for the words. I like words of Renaissance, you know. I've got like a little weird symbols here or there. We got a little, what seems like a different language. And we got a number 78. So I look for numerology. I look for all of it. Primarily, the big three for me are color. I'm always going to look for color. You have to be a colorful deck. I need, I need, I need my greens, guys. I need, I need the rainbow. I need orange. I need the whole chakra system. You know, I need the scarlet red representing the uh, air chakras. Number two has to be numerology. You know, everybody wants to know about the years and the months and the days where their things are going to happen. <laughs> their lovers, their lovers, and their money will return. And number three is I need symbology. I need 
plants. I need uh, what seems to be a guy who's flying with a, with his bird wings. <laughs> I need a man pouring into his lady that he already rejected. You know, I need the big three <laughs> symbology. Hey, what's up, Stephanie Roberts? How are you doing? Welcome, uh, uh, welcome to my live uh, unboxing video. And also, shout outs to the recorded audience. Shout outs to the sages. Oh, we're trying to open it right now. Shout out to the sages and the sagettes. You know, I have my video. I believe I had to take down my amateur video, everyone, because it had no value. <laughs> it had no value. I, I did not know. You have to unmute. Muted. What, what do you mean? Am I unmuted now? Can you hear me now? Hello? 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 Can you hear me clearly? Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Stop the stop the cap. All right. It says that I'm broadcasting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. The Sage Notification Gang has told me that I was muted. But thankfully, the Sage Notification Gang was wrong. And you heard everything I just said. <laughs> Shout out to all the amateur sages. That's why we do this. Because collectively, and everybody wants to be master. But collectively, let's, let's, let's be amateurs. Ooh, okay, I'm unboxing it. I think I should show you. <laughs> oh no, guys, there's a there's a real there's a real group here. Okay, say hey, what's up? Good evening. No, guys, we're I'm really talking to people. I'm not. I'm not being wild. Hey, Polani, how you? Uh, that was Polani, the the one of our moderators. All right, so let's pull it out. Okay, um, guys, I am an amateur sage and not a tarot reader, but there's about 70, I think there's like, they're called major arcana, which are big faced cards. I mean, if you're still watching the video at this point, you you love spirit, <laughs> you know, but but I just want to read the back. I forgot to read the back of the book, very important. I, Cause you do love spirit, I'm gonna read the, okay. An imprisoned person, all right, with no other book than the tarot, if he knew how to use it, could it in a few years, no, could in a few years acquire universal knowledge and would be able to speak on all subjects with unequal learning and an inexhaustible eloquence. A life is levy. The tarot represents the fundamental laws of nature. Thus, the tarot can be used to understand anything, but not limited to and including religion, nature, science. But the most important use is to understand ourselves. Anyone can use the tarot to understand the forces at work in their lives and get guidance regarding what they must do. All right, so um, if you're an amateur and you made it this far, yeah, now you see why. Even if you don't ever do live tarot guys even if you don't become tarot masters and etc uh you know it's strongly recommended and shout outs to gnostic gnostic teaching i think that's the name of y'all that uh brought me this that i got this from shout outs to gnostic the gnostic store okay in brooklyn where i brought this i got this from brooklyn guys i, I paid seven dollars to go to guys i live in the same city i could have just went up there and got it from brooklyn I digress. I digress. It was seven dollars worth it. I could have had this. I digress, everyone. Amateurs, amateurs, all of us. I did smoke a little, so you know, mind. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. If you're still watching it, you you fuck with tarot. Okay. So that's that. Now we pull out the cards. Presentment and the magician. Ah. We have the 40, and then we have the magician who typically starts as the one, which I learned from my Chinese tarot. Then we have a book. Okay, so yeah, when I had the Chinese tarot, they had a very small, tiny book. I think really because 
that Chinese tarot deck seemed to have been part of a mystery school. So all the stuff you would have had to have learned in that book, they would have taught it to you. Oh, these are tiny. These remind me of like little Yu-Gi-Oh Yogi cards. I think they're shorter. Yeah, they're definitely shorter than my, uh, they're shorter than the Chinese. You know, the width is slightly, I mean, it's pretty much the same. So yeah, I think the Chinese tarot cards were part of like, you know, textbooks and school systems and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Polani. I'm going to be doing, um, someone asked me about that, Polani. But got, I'm going to be doing a, uh, next month, I'll be doing like a tarot, I'm going to start up a tarot class, okay? All right, Polani. So yeah, I'm, I'm finally doing, so I'm going to keep you guys posted next month. But, um, oh, you want to purchase? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely doing it, though. All right, guys, so we have uh, the cards. I mean, guys, I'm super excited. Like, I'm just making this video so I can, like, get off here and, like, you know, whenever I get off here, guys, I'm going to, like, go into my room and then, like, probably, you know, swim around in my cars like it's money. I'm, uh, can I tell the truth? Can I tell the truth? <laughs> you know, can I tell the truth? I'm very hyped. I don't know where to start. I really don't. And, you know, if I wasn't baked, that's still what, even if I wasn't smoking, I still wouldn't know where to start. All right. So I guess we'll start. We'll just go, we're just going to go through the cards briefly, guys. This really is just for the squad. Like, yeah. So I'm going to be reading from now on in all my live tarots. Okay. Okay, everyone. So we're going to get used to them together. Um, it'll take, I mean, the good thing about me. Yeah. But Polani, I'm going to aim. But yeah, Polani. I'm going to uh, I'm going to let you know. But yeah, we got the magician. I saw the Facebook gang is showing up, so shout out to the Facebook squad. But yeah, we got the high, we got the magician, we got the high priestess. Man, these cards look dope, guys. These cards look dope. You know what I liked about them as well is I noticed they had a lot of stars connected to them. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was something I could honor. Because yeah, I want to get into astronomy, because I keep thinking, oh, do astrology. I know I will, just because that's what everyone likes, but I think for the more, I think my live tarots, I think I've said, I've said this several times, but my live tarots are for the beginners on their spiritual journey. But all the other shit, it's really for like the, okay, I entered the gate. We're in my dorm room, <laughs> you know, aka my spiritual definitions, etc. Yeah, we have the Empress. See, the Empress looks, oh, the Empress got her titties out. I knew it. <laughs> I knew the Empress would have her titties out. I mean, I, I'm guessing. But the Empress was, in the Chinese tarot deck, the Empress looks like a god dang. She's the other Empress. But yeah, guys, the Empress got her. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we're going in. Oh yeah, Polani. So Polani, I'm going to let you know. We're going to do it, Polani. Yeah, I think um, one of the people for the recorded audience, one of the... The, the sage gang is saying that they gonna be that they brought a book they got the book instead of the cards so i mean the book will teach you but i think with my course what i realized i was thinking about my course and i'm like i think it's better you guys understand things separately because when I got my cards, I was I, I realized all the other stuff I had learned, which had nothing to do with a tarot-centered study, it when I, all that stuff I learned when I got the tarot cards, it was like I could have I feel like you know I could have got me those natural playing cards and still would have been good, you know. So so yeah, the book is great, guys, but you know it's better to just buy the cards. Buy the cards first, and then the cards, you know, you're because you're going to guess what each symbol means, so you're going to research it anyway. Yeah, it even has where, I mean, it has the, the Aquarius energy already. So the Emperor, you know, we got, what is that? What planet is that? I got, I'm getting tested, guys. That looks like, uh, is that Neptune? I think that's Neptune, because it has a little Pisces design with a little thing. Yeah, see, they're trying, they trying to make me more real. I'm not a full amateur, you know. All right, we see you. You know, he got his he got his tits covered. Yeah, I said it. I said tits. I mean, 
if you guys prefer other words like memory, sacred memory, you know, I don't, I don't mean, I don't know how else to use it. Her breast. Oh, I use the word breast. That's way better than tits. I apologize. I'll apologize. I apologize. And we'll come to a collective understanding on what language you want to use. You know, when I hear to offend, but I, but her breasts are out. The hierarch. Okay, so we have a card I have not, I don't have in my other deck. The hierarch. Anubis head. Okay, yeah, we're going there. I mean, we're, we're guys, like, I should end my video and go, go in my bed and roll around in this stuff, shouldn't I? You know, I think I have to. Tomorrow I'm doing live tarot um, again from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, I think I'm more of a daytimer. Um, will I ever go back to nighttime schedule? Maybe on maybe Friday night because I know I like on the weekends I like to not do stuff that's tarot related. So maybe Friday night, maybe Saturday night, not Sunday, not Sunday at all. But for the most part, guys, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Expect like a today schedule. Because I, I don't figure, I'll, I'll, you know, I got to make a separate video, but let's just say uh, I got serious again. So here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't wait. Whoever asks me about a third party situation, we got you. We got you. <laughs> we got you. We got you. Yo, the real third party, the woman with the shirt on versus the woman with the shirt off. <laughs> bosoms. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. We're going to go with bosoms. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely want to roll on these bad boys. Triumph. I want to go through all of them slowly. And I have so many cards to go through. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, I am going to do a reading at the end. I just wanted to take my time with her. Yeah, this is definitely a female tarot deck. I can already feel it. Triumph, guys. We got the Pisces energy. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. And then we've, we've, like the Chinese tarot deck, I got language I don't understand. The same thing. I got these, like, tildes. I believe it's Hebrew. Ancient Hebra. But yeah, guys, we, we go in everywhere. We, Shalim. And I did have a circumcision. So, guys, I'm already connected to the cards. I'm already connected to the Hebrew. So, oh, what? They said that was fake and I should never have gotten one? Yo, you mind your business. Okay, guys, let's go back to the card. Yeah, presenting. Uh, we even had words I don't understand. Presentment number 40. Oh, guys, we're tearing this up. We're tearing this up. We have words on all these cards. We have words on all these cards. It's like a kid in Christmas. It's like a high child. Like It's a kid in Christmas, except that kid, he ate ice cream. No, and the ice cream had weed, weed was weed infused. Hold on, we got a phone call. We got a phone call. All right, excuse me, everybody. It's a part of the game. Presentment. Con contrition, guys. I need a dictionary. Who's bringing the dictionary? Okay, I know. Stephanie has us. I'm looking at the. I can't even. And I'm. I apologize to the live audience. Like, hopefully, you guys have skipped through this video and just decided to like go to my live readings. You know. I'm so happy. And I like that every time I zoom in on the card, I black out. Like I'm, I'm so that's like the best part to me. Oh yeah, we got the we got the double bosom. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, I need to uh, I need to add an Amazon uh, referral code to this video because whoever watches this is going to be in heaven. They're going to be in better heaven than I am. They buying this Daryl, and the, it's small too. So I know I know we have a lot of, uh, you know the way you know, guys. You know, the way gender is split in the spiritual world, the most spiritual people, the people that would typically buy tarot, it's like 97, really it's like 82% women, okay? So I know women, you guys are 
genetically structured to have smaller hands. So this will be perfect for you. Uh, just to give you an idea. Oh, I have the hands of I have the hands of a monster. So I'm not a good example. I have the hands of a monster, but uh, a manster, if you will. Uh, let me stop showing you guys my hands. You know, I already know that one person's gonna send another love spell. Stop, stop sending them, by the way. But yeah, it's about half the size of a, like a container. I mean, if you compared my giant old, I, I don't have a ruler. I apologize. But uh, I think of this phone. You know, yeah, it's like a little, a little bit smaller than an iPhone. One of those like fancy iPhones. <laughs> so yeah, if I can compare it to a key, you know, it's about. Two keys. It's about one. Yeah, it's about two keys. A little bit, a little bit uh, smaller than two keys. Oh yeah. Start with this, guys. Start with this. This is like a beginner deck because it comes with a book. Um, it has even words like love and desire. Like even if you're the worst tarot, even if you started tarot on 11:59 p.m. tonight, that's when this video is being shot. I mean, like you know the timestamp. You could become a proficient tarot reader by 12.01 a.m. the next day, so simply off the strength of like just pulling the card and reading a book. And we didn't even get to the book. But yeah, I mean, the, the bosoms, I mean, I'm just, I don't know what to be more excited about. The communion, which is the two people coming together. I know some of y'all is asking, will they come back? Uh-oh, this will be the card if they come back. Because, <laughs> and I like how it keeps it real. It says, what brings him back? Ah, uh, yes. It is goddess with her bosoms out. You know, it's just, just get it done. Like, that's my favorite kind of energy. It's like, you know, I remember when I was a 20-year-old lad, everybody, I just was wearing tight shirts to talk to women. I didn't overthink. <laughs> I didn't overthink it. You know, justice. You know, you even have your justice card. Like, should I cut him? Or should I trick him? It said, yeah, not only should you cut him, but you should get him in lingerie. Get him to, like, you know, get him with your lingerie and then cut him, you know? So, yeah, we're going all the way. And I think it's such a, you know, we're just we're just happy. We're just really happy. And by we, I mean me and y'all. I'm speaking on behalf of y'all. I'm so excited to do this tarot, this tarot, uh, class as well it's been a long time coming but yeah the hermit card and um i mean what am i going to require i think for the tarot cards you guys should purchase i'm probably going to make it the chinese tarot deck because i love those cards and i the other one should probably be these guys <laughs> you know like i really am a fan of a high quality card i know there's a whole t writer deck that's been dubbed the starter deck, but I'm not a fan. I've seen that deck. I'm not really a fan of it because it's one, it's really big. And two, it's doesn't have a lot of color. You know, hope. Can you get him back? You beautiful goddesses. You, yeah, you can, you can. All right. So let's just look at the book real quick. And then let's, okay, we got the back, okay, we have the Hebrew, we have the magical, the zodiac, or the letter, the name, the planet, Egyptian number, or, and then the number. Oh, it's an Egyptian, Egyptian, or number, okay. Wow, then we have Hebrew. All right, okay, the book's not that exciting, like, the book isn't that tremendous. It's just the words. It's like, listen, you already have the card. We're not going to give you the card again. So, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Pilgrimage. All right, but listen, how I'm excited am I? I'm going to flip these cards. You know, it's been 24 minutes. If if you're still watching this video, um, you're probably here for the collective reading. Which I should be able to put in the time stamp. Okay. Yeah, these little cards remind me of like little goldfish cards, like Monopoly money cards. All right. Do you have any questions in the chat room? Oh, yeah. The best life ever. Yeah, you definitely have small hands. Polani, are you coming through to my tarot class? Like, you know, I'm going to try to recruit you. I'm going to try to recruit you. 
Oh my gosh, and back where we started, the Renaissance card, like the, you know, see, that's why I like cards, because, you know, just right where we started, right where we started. Can't make that up, but you already know, you already know. Okay. All right, if we have any questions, yo, I'm that excited, okay? So I'll take one question, I mean, if my moderator, Palani, do you have a question? Is if that whole if everyone agrees they have a question, I'll answer. What's the question? <laughs> I want everyone to ask. I want to get like you can't stop watching. Stephanie, me and oh my. But that being said, let's just get out of here on a quick okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, unboxing. Um, it was really a pleasure for me. I can't wait to read these cards. That being said, let's get out of here. Um, let's leave out on a quick little libation prayer. We are in Almighty. We are in the cards. We are in our ancestors. We are in all beings in the universe that can protect us. All beings in the universe that can protect us, connect us right now. Ancestors, connect us right now. Cards, connect us right now. Almighty, connect to us right now. Uh, shade to the great mother, a uh, shade to the great father, a uh, shade to the great warrior, a uh, shade to the great magician, a uh, shade to the great lover, a uh, shade to the great protector, and side of all of us, and a uh, shade to all being. I mean, yeah, a uh, shade, a uh, shade, a uh, shade. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, love you, love you. All right, everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video, this unboxing video on the internal, eternal tarot card deck. Uh, shout out to my eyes closing, like. <laughs> yeah, don't come for me, CC Moon. I'm gonna edit this out the video, okay? I'm gonna edit this out and then come at you. Okay, let me stop. All right, everyone, this has been the Amateur Sage. Edit, cut, 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 cut. All right, everyone, this has been the Amateur Sage reminding you you're worthy of divine love. And until next time, my sage brothers, my sage sisters, and my sage warriors. Around